Morning everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So today we're working on another Heathkit SB220. I've worked on hundreds of these. I have a lot of experience. It's almost like second nature now. I can almost do it with one hand tied behind my back, possibly blindfolded. So I just love bringing these amps back to life and making them better than new. So after this, I have a couple TL 922s that need a lot of work. So I was waiting on parts for this. I have all the parts. I was testing amps yesterday, getting stuff shipped and organized. So today we work on this. So I'm going to go over everything it needs. First off, it needs a plate current meter. This one is open. So luckily I have a, re a stock replacement here. Needs the new Harbach metering board. I'll swap that out. Harbach filter cap kit. I'll swap that out. The capacitor on the plate side needs to be replaced. It has damage to some of the plates. I'll replace the plate blocking capacitor. Band switch looks okay. I'll clean the band switch and the input rotor switch with deoxid gold. I folded down the Safety interlock for now. I'll, I'll fold it back up, bend it back up. Um, I always check the filament transformer to make sure that's okay before I proceed. Needs new parasitic suppressors. I'll rewind those. The fan is really noisy, so I'll pull the, the impeller off of the old motor and replace the motor and get that all done. So I'll flip it over and show you the bottom real quick. Okay, so here's the bottom of the SB220. I'm going to pull these MOVs out and clean up solder joints, change this cap over here, because if this cap shorted, it would put a short on that winding on the filament transformer. It can end up taking out the filament transformer. So I'll put a brand new electrolytic cap in. I'm going to do the bias modification for the self-bias instead of the force bias. With the force bias, feeding voltage back to the cathode. And if you ever ended up with a grid to filament short, you'd end up taking out the filament transformer. So they no longer do the force bias type uh, setup in modern amplifiers. It's always self bias. So I'm going to swap that over. I'll clean the contacts really well with deoxy gold. I'm going to ground the grids with strap. I've seen a lot of people use wire. They go to the screws. I go right to the metal. Problem is wire doesn't have a lot of total surface area. And with skin effect, you want as much surface area as possible. Strap gives you more total surface area. So it's more work, but yeah, I cut the strips and I, I punch the holes, I solder and all that, but that's the way that, that's the better way to do it. So I'll check the SO239 connectors and zip tie, re-zip tie things, and uh, that'll be it for the bottom. So I'm gonna get to work and this will be an all-day project, but It'll come out nice when it's all done. So stay tuned, and I will see you guys very soon. 73. I'm to point something out. This off key wasn't even wired correctly. He still had the RCA jack on the back connected directly to the coil and the relay. So the soft key was actually in parallel. It was, so it wasn't doing anything. So just wanted to point that out. But undo it and uh, make it nice and pretty and better than new. See you soon. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Heathkit SB220. It's been a long day, I'm gonna go over everything I did. So, replace the plate current meter with another stock one. Harbach metering board, Harbach filter cap board, zip tied everything nice, series glitch resistor. I always tighten the nut here where the B positive goes into the RF deck on the standoff, feed through standoff here. Clean the output rotary switch with deoxy gold, brand new parasitic suppressors, brand new plate blocking capacitor, brand new air variable capacitor on the plate side, brand new fan motor, I reused the old impeller, brand new meter lamp bulbs. I'll flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. I also clean the input rotary switch with the oxicle. You always want to check this connection too, because sometimes that is bad solder joint and you do not want it open there. Okay, be right back. Okay, so here's the bottom. Change that electrolytic cap. Grounded the grids. 
soldered and heat shrunk the wire for the new fan motor. Check the SO239 connectors. Didn't have the proper gauge wire. It's wired for 120. Didn't have the proper gauge wire for one of the jumpers. So I replaced both with number 14, solid copper. Ran a new wire over to the coil of the relay. Teflon, silver plated, stranded center conductor. I got thousands of feet of it, so I use it for everything. I love it. Clean the TR slash bias relay, deoxid gold. I also secured the wire over here so it's not flapping around. I like to run it around this side so it's further away from the RF output over here. Sometimes people run it that way. I like to run it around. So this thing is all set. I'm very thorough. I go through the entire amplifier. I don't just do a few things. I do everything. Also did the bias modification. So this thing is good to go. If you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. And the website is amprepairguide.com. I have two 922s up next and more boxes, but I go through them as quick as I can and I, like I said, very thorough. I don't leave any stone unturned. I have lots and lots and lots of experience with these amplifiers. This is a 1200 watt PEP amplifier. Great amplifier. Now it's better than new. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. 73.